Hi, it's Miss Kitty Chaos from Adventures of a Writer Girl and I'm going to do a haul for you. I've had like some random stuff this month and I thought I'd put it all together and do a bit of a haul post and I'm thinking of um, just doing my haul post monthly now. So not that I tend to buy millions of stuff but it might be a case of one month I might only have one or two things I've bought and another month I might have like quite a bit of stuff like I've got this month and that's going to include anything that I've also got through Blogger Mail. If you don't check out my blog, it's Adventures of Right Girls, so go over there and show me some love, please. Okay, right, so I have quite a bit of stuff to get through. I think I'm going to start with what's down here. Okay, so um, you have these shoes, which are from Red Tape, I believe. And they are like, they've got that kind of brogue effect on the front, which I think is really cool. And uh, they've got that kind of all around them and the lace up and they're, they're quite padded inside actually. I think they're a little bit padded inside but he's already been wearing those and he really likes those. And we had those for a, this was, at, this was actually Blogger Man. This was for a post that we've got coming up soon. He got those and I got these Rocket Dog shoes. I really like these. They've still got the thing in them. Uh, if you're watching this after I've already done the post, I will link the post down below, which is the same for a couple of things that I've got in this. But these are Rocket Dogs, they're like um, ankle boots, they kind of remind me of like ankle Chelsea boot kind of things. And I like this cut out detail in them, and they've got this buckle here, which isn't going to help, but I'll show you. Like a little buckle there, and they're really cute, they just look really, they look like Chelsea boots from the front and then from the side they've got that lovely cut out detail. But these are from Rocket Dog. So we had those. Then I also got the Blackheart Creative Make Your Own Jewelry Kit, which came with like things to make some earrings, things to make a necklace, and you get these little pliers to make it. I'm not going to do this in a video, but I am going to put this up on my blog post, like just to show because there's a couple of ways you can make the necklace and things so I'm going to show what I actually did with it and then um, I'm and like I think she's going to do some more in the future and you can subscribe more regular I really think this is an awesome kind of box because it's like you get so many subscription boxes where you can just get the necklace sent to you or something like that but this is so much more fun because it's like um, if you watch the video which I'll link down below Charlotte's teamed up with a blogger and they are showing how they actually made a necklace and how they made two different kind of ones and how you can actually just change it for yourself and how fun it is to make the thing so you can have your own personalised black art creative things. You already know I love black art creators because I've talked about them quite a bit in the past. So this subscription box, I hope it's going to take off because I think this is such an awesome thing to have. Okay, then I also, um, I joined, I'm, I'm in a few book clubs but I joined another one which is more sort of like in tune with being a spiritual woman because I love spirituality so I got the Mama Gina School of Womanly Arts I've only just started reading it but um it's basically getting in tune with yourself as a woman and like it sets you like activities through it I don't know if anyone's ever read The Artist's Way but in The Artist's Way they talk about doing morning pages they talk about um things that will creatively help you flow because I'm a filmmaker and I like to write as well uh, that ice way was brilliant for me in that it helped you do things like morning pages and um, just like help your mind flow more and it will help in tune that creativity and it sounds insane but it really works so um, this is very similar to that and I really wanted to try that so um, a couple of people over at um, Girl Gang Headquarters are reading this together and so I thought I would get that and that that would be fun to read so I'm going to have a read of that. If you want to hear more about the artist way or this kind of thing, let me know and I'll do another video in the future about that and let you know about that. I also am uh, really enjoying planners and bullet journals and things. I thought what I'll do for myself because I don't know whether I'll commit myself to a planner at the moment because um, I tend to get diaries and they get lost. They, I start off with the best intentions and I stop using them. So I thought the best way to try it was do a bullet journal. Now I know there's all these kind of things where you have these quite expensive books to do bullet journaling, but I'm just gonna um, take a leaf out of Leah's thing. I'll show you Leah's introduction to bullet journaling below. Um, and I'm gonna try and just use a normal notebook, see if I stick to it. If I stick to it, then great. I will either properly bullet journal or I will then go on to get a planner in next year or something. I just want to see if I'm really going to use it because I really want to get more organised about when my posts are going to come out, how much I'm going to YouTube because 
Um, I blog quite a lot if you've been following me in February I've had some really great views and if you've been one of those people thanks so much for coming over and reading something that um, I've written because I really that's why I do it to speak to you guys so if you haven't go over to the blog which is always linked down below and you can check it out but um, for that I, I got some little cute stationary things I also write to a few people like I've got a pen pal in New York um, I also have a couple of bloggers that I write to and I write to one of my best friends as well so these can come in handy for that as well if I don't stick to bullet journal I just got these little pens, they're just little coloured pens, they're nothing fancy there's just a blue, purple, pink, yellow and black and these are from Wilkinson's, I think they were something like 50p and I mean how exciting is that, like you know we all love school and stationery and then I have this little memo block which is great for blogging anyway so um it's like little memo blocks with the little tabs on them and whether these get used for bullet journal or just blogging or reminders for anything that's great it's like a little to-do list and they've got this really cute um is it called sum sum i can't really know how you pronounce it those tum sum things and it's got like a little daisy duck a little mini mouse a little donald a little mickey mouse and a little goofy I don't know about you, but Donald was always my favourite because I loved how grumpy he was. I don't know why, but I just really loved grumpy characters growing up. And then I also got um, just another one again, just of the little tabs. These are just the tabs that you can use. And these have got Tigger, Pluto. Ah, oh, it's got Stitch. I haven't even looked at these properly. It's got Stitch, it's got Daisy, I think that's Snow White. And it's got, I think, Buzz Lightyear. If you can see Buzz, Snow White there we go and these are really cute they're great for sticking in your diary so you can find a page or I don't know you can even use them for bookmarks anything that you want to use them for they're really really helpful like in work or in getting organized in something so I got a hold of those these were all from Wilkinson's and they were really cheap I think it cost £2.50 for all of these and I felt like I was in school again because how fun is it buying stationery okay then I also got um I'll do this I'll do the fashion last. I got this mask which I haven't actually opened yet. It's a um, suction black mask. It's uh, it's to get rid of like um, blackheads and things like that. This is actually an all over mask, but I probably would just use it on the areas that I think are problematic. Uh, if you want to see a video on this let me know but um there is quite a few videos online already but I, i'm not sure if it's for this I, this is actually a cheaper version of the expensive mask because let's face it i'm all about the thrift and uh, <laughs> and you know it looks quite cool i'll give it a go let you know how it was i think it was a pound from china or something but um that looks interesting then i also got again from china this uh foundation brush it's really really soft it's really nice I've not used it yet because I wanted to show you guys but I've seen quite a lot of reviews on this and people using them and saying that it gives them a better blend and they really enjoy it so I thought I'd try that out and then also I had my friend come over from America which was pretty cool and if you're watching January thank you for coming I had such a rad time with you and she actually spoiled me rotten she brought over quite a few makeup items for me that I really really wanted um, so I'm not going to swatch these because I'm probably going to do a separate video where I swatch them all for you and show you what they like I'll probably do, if you watch my Makeup Revolution swatches where I did the swatches on the lips I'll probably do something like that for you so I'm just going to show you which ones I got I got the LA Splash um, oh I don't even know what colour this one is this was like a surprise one she got me. The LA Splash Liquid Lipsticks. These are waterproof. And this colour is... Oh, Vampire. So it's like a dark red kind of colour. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not going to swatch these today. But I am going to do a video if that's what you're interested in. Um, and show you what they look like. I'll probably do a separate LA Splash one. And then another one for the other ones if you want to see those ones. So we've got the Vampire one got the um venom which is just the black because who who else just loves black lipsticks and i really needed one and then we got the salvation one from uh was it mua or makeup revolution the other month but that's more of like a dark brown this is black and i need black in my life then i also got the 
ghoulish which if you follow LA Splash is something that people have raved about so I was really excited to get this and I can't I actually again I haven't tried this I've swatched all of these and I might put the picture on my Instagram so you can see swatches of these so you will have to go follow me on Instagram to see those swatches until I put the video up she also on top of that brought me uh, a NYX uh, I don't know what colour this is does it really oh so really say but it's like uh, when I swatched it it's kind of like a dark brownie red colour then she brought me another which is wet and wild and that again is like a berry colour it hasn't got the name on it but it, it's like a, a good berry colour and if you want to see these colours I will swatch them and then another NYX which is um Okay, we're not going to fumble around. I can't find the colours right now, but it is oh, it's the it's five six nine in in numbers, but again, it's another berry tone colour because she likes like she knows I like those really deep rich colours. And I know we're coming into spring. We should be getting all light and floral. I'm not a fan of floral. I I love alternative styles, so I will wear berry lips, dark lips all year round. And then we had another wet and wild, which is an, it's kind of like a bronzy dark colour, which is really nice. And then she also bought me a sort of nude colour, which is also from NYX, which is really nice. And that, oh, that's called Zurich. So if you want to see any swatches of the extra ones she got me, let me know and I'll do those. But um, I will definitely be doing a video for the LA Splash ones. And thank you again, Janri. I, I love them when I swatched them. I was like, oh my God, you've been so generous. I'm really excited. Okay, then I also have this amazing dress coming up which you'll probably see a couple of times now because it's going to be on my favourites but it's absolutely beautiful this is from Chi Chi I'm not going to show you what it looks like on because I'm doing a blog post this weekend and um, I'll link that down below for anyone who's watching this at a later date but it's absolutely gorgeous so I'll be reviewing this dress it, it's beautiful it's got such a gorgeous pattern on it and you'll find out more about that if you follow the blog also that was that was blogger mail also from simply beard did a post about revealing your inner vixen and it was my first underwear post i was putting myself out of my comfort zone something like underwear it wasn't something that i really wanted to do on my blog but i thought how can i promote body positivity and then not actually be prepared to put myself out of my comfort zone so i did put myself out of my comfort zone and i posted how to um release your inner vixen and i did um a post and there was, um, I had to, oh, I'm not going to show you the pants, but I had like high waisted pants on. And then I had this really cute sort of teddy outfit. It's, it's a bit see-through and it's got this beautiful patterning on it. It's really cute. And it's got this little bow in the middle. That's gorgeous. This is from Simply Bee. And then I also had the leopard print kimono, which is from is it Jamil, Jamila Jamil range and it's really nice it's actually quite big I think it's supposed to be like oversized and it's fully lined it's really sweet it comes with a nice necktie with it and this looks really cute either for the bedroom or um, I want to try it with some black skinny jeans and just a black top something really plain and then I've got that leopard print because y'all know I love the leopard print then I also, if you've been watching my channel, I had an unboxing and I had a swap with some other PS bloggers and I love this bag. Do not talk to me. I love donuts. And I was going to buy this bag um, when I went out with my friend Yasmin, who I've mentioned a couple of times on the blog and blog. <laughs> and um, I was going to buy this and I didn't end up buying it. And so the fact that someone bought it with me, I was like, I love it. And I go shopping quite a bit even just to buy food and stuff and obviously not having your own bags this is something that I can just fold up and slip in my handbag so that is brilliant and thank you I still don't even you know you don't even film when your camera cuts out on you and then you end up actually talking to the screen for ages thinking that you're still talking to people but yeah I've spoken up about this donut thing then it also on Twitter just before New Year's um 
a lady was offering out a dress because she was saying basically she tried it and it didn't quite fit but instead of sending it back she so generously was giving it away and I was having a bit of a crappy time and someone put me forward and asked if I wanted to get it and she actually sent it out to me all I knew was that it was a green Linda Bob dress and it came and I was so surprised at how lovely it was it's this sort of khaki army green colour and it's their classic Audrey cut and then it's got this big full skirt and um, if recently you watched one of my hauls you would have seen that I had three different Linda Buck dresses and I was like they're three different sizes this fit perfectly so I was so happy with it and it comes with I haven't even took it out of the bag yet but it comes with a lovely cute little bow um, belt blow belt so what I'll do is I'll do a lookbook including the other Linda Bob dresses, that one and the Chi Chi dress. If that's something you want to see, let me know. And then other things that I got, I think this is the last item actually. And I really enjoy seeing work from other artists. If you go to my blog, you'll see that I quite often talk about independent artists and I think it's really important to celebrate them. So I interviewed Murder of Goss, which is really popular and she's amazing. Go check out her work, go buy a portrait. You would have seen the one of me where I was, had my Frida inspired outfit. And you also would have seen one around Christmas time, which she did as a complete surprise because she's such a really good friend of mine. But I'm not biased because her work is amazing and you need to check it out. And I interviewed her and so if you want to find out more about her, go and check out that interview, which we'll link down below again. And you can go buy some awesome work off her. You can have, like, have a portrait done. You can buy stuff off her red bubble, which has like... There's an awesome skirt, which is of all these PS bloggers, which I so want. And she she has that. She has um, she'll do custom things for you. So recently, another fellow blogger had something for Valentine's done for their partner, which was their children, and it was gorgeous. So go and show her some love, honestly, because she's amazing, and it's just so good to uh, support someone independent. Well, what Lucky Box have been doing recently is they've been working with independent artists. And they've been releasing like a box which is like a subscription box where you get like um anything from homeware to jewelry and things like that i've only been following it i don't actually get the lucky box at the moment um i would like to get it in the future but right now i'll be honest i can't afford it but um if you've got that little bit of extra cash coming in and you love independent artists this is something brilliant so this month they had a girl gang theme which is so cool and it was um sponsored by mel stringer I'm a Mel Stringer fan girl. I'm going to put my hands up and say it. Mel Stringer is awesome. And I love her artwork. I have loved her artwork for some time. Um, you've probably seen it pop up on my Instagram every now and again. Or on my Facebook page. Which links are below. So follow me and you'll see those. Um, but anyway, she'd done a collaboration with them. There was like a little girl gag flag, flag pin. And then there was this patch which I bought. But um, you had to get the subscription box. But this month I was so lucky that they actually had a spare box. A spare things free so um they were saying oh we've got these badges free and I asked them if they had the patch and they were so lovely and they said we do you know just give us a little bit it was I think it was only like five pounds which is really good for a patch because I've got a similar patch which cost me about the same amount of money which um I don't think I've showed you guys yet but I'll show you when I show you a DIY jacket 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 yeah uh, a DIY jacket post which if you want to see that um I like to customise, I've got some customised denim jackets, I'm customising a uh, pink jacket soon with like, I'm going with a girl gang sort of, right girl theme. So if you if that's something you'd be interested in seeing how I've customised them or the stages are long as I customise it, let me know and I'll do that as well. Anyway, so she sent me these postcards that came with it and there's this Hello Sunshine one, which is really cute. There's this Stay Lucky one. And there was also this Seek Adventure. I love this one. So this one's not going to go to anyone. But I might use these for like pen pals that I've got. Or just to send a little sunshine to a friend. And then this is the Mel Stringer patch. It says do not care. And it's got this lovely character on it. She does like these sort of lady characters quite a lot. And they're always badass bitches. So go check out Mel Stringer's work. And it came in this really cool sort of like hologram packet. Which I was like yeah awesome <laughs> that's all i've got for the haul today which i know has been a lot and i've talked for ages obviously because my camera gave up on me but um 
I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. So like and subscribe and leave me some comments down below. Let me know what other videos you want to see and go check out the blog. More importantly, go check out the artists that I've mentioned in this um, vlog. And until then, take care until next time. Bye.